With this video, I'm going to save some of you a lot of headache and I'm happy to do it because Facebook is terrible at explaining things and they just kind of like throw up their system and leave us to figure it out. So anyways, this is going to help a lot. I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Facebook business manager account without a website. We're still going to have to input a website, but I'm going to show you what the workaround is for that. When you come to set up a business manager account, it's this page right here. The URL is business.facebook.com. And then what you need to do is just come up to the right and click create account or log in. Either way, it's going to ask you to log into your personal ad account. You have to, you have to have a per, a business man a business manager account can only be created off of a personal Facebook account. So, you have to log into a first uh, personal Facebook account. Once you've done that, just come right back to this page. If it takes you anywhere else, just get back to this page, logged into your personal Facebook account, and then come up to the top right and click create account. Then you're gonna get a pop-up that looks like this, and hopefully they don't change this for a while, but Facebook and just like all these internet systems, whatever, they change interfaces and change boxes and stuff changes. So this is what it looks like for now as I'm filming this on September 20th, 2019. Hopefully it sticks around for a while. They they changed it to this somewhat recently, so, so it should stick around for a while. So you've got to put your business name and account name right here. It says it should match the public name of your business. It will be visible across all of Facebook. And this doesn't mean that you have to like have an LLC set up or be like properly incorporated as a business, but like put your business name here. All right, then it's asking for your name. It's gonna ask for a first name and a last name. You can put just a first name, a space, and then a letter. It will accept that. And then also your business email right here. So I'm gonna throw in some fillers real fast so I can click next. Let's call this business. Alex S. Business at gmail.com. Then just once you have that filled in, click next. Okay, then right here is where it asks you to input an address and you do need to input an address if, it, if you have a business address, probably better to use a business address. Uh, if you don't have a business address, you can just use your personal address, but Facebook does need you to put a real address in here and also a phone number. Again, if you don't have a business phone number, personal phone number will suffice. Okay, website right here. You have to for sure put a proper website in here, but let's talk about what Facebook accepts as proper. If you just try and throw like your YouTube channel or URL or something in right here, not gonna work. If you try and if you have like a domain that you own but it's not active, if you don't have a, a page actually active for it, and you try and put that in, it's not gonna accept that. But what you can do is use your Facebook pages URL as your website URL. So the easy fix to this is go to your Facebook page, copy and paste its URL right here as your website. If you don't have a Facebook page, go create a Facebook page, copy paste the URL, and paste it right here. So I'm gonna show you real fast, because it's super easy, how to set up a Facebook page for those who don't have one, and then I'm gonna show you where on the Facebook page to find your URL. Okay, if you wanna set up a Facebook page, super easy, just log in to your regular Facebook account, and on the home page in the toolbar at the top, click Create, and then click Page and then click whether it's business brand, community, or public figure for the purpose of you know getting the URL to create a Facebook business manager account. This doesn't matter, so whatever fits you, click get started, fill out the information, click continue, finish getting that set up, and then you'll have a Facebook page. Okay, now once you have your Facebook page set up, you can come up here to the top and click this little down arrow, and then your pages will show right here. So I'm gonna click into this one right here. That's just a dummy page that I've set up for this. And then once you're here, just come up to the search bar, copy that URL, come back to this page, paste it in website, click submit, and you should be good to go now. If you haven't already checked out my other videos on Facebook ads, I highly recommend that you do. They're really good videos, there's a lot of really good information in there. I'll drop a link in the description for the playlist of all the Facebook ads videos I've made. Um, I, one thing I do is one of the videos is a tutorial on a bunch of the different features and how to use them inside of the Facebook business manager but then I also go into more specifics of how to actually create an ad how to find good targeting how to do lead generation all sorts of good stuff so if you're running Facebook ads which seems like you are if you're on this video and watching <laughs> this deep into it so if well you are so you should go watch my Facebook ads videos